This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Thrillist. Well, hello there. How's it going? Great. Awesome. Fantabulous. Props, man. Spectacular. It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo, and welcome to What's the Apps. In the last episode, a few people asked me to check out this Android application called Go Launcher X. And you know what? I did just that. So for the next four to five minutes or so, just sit back and relax because I'm going to tell you what I think about this wonderful application. In a past What's the Apps episode, I reviewed another Android launcher application called Launcher Pro, which is amazing, by the way, highly recommended. You know what? Just pause this video. Go, go get your Android phone, download it right now, play with it for about 20 minutes and just come back. Awesome. Yeah, it's really good. So yeah, don't mind me making a few comparative observations between the two because they're just so similar. Go Launcher X is a very lightweight, simple and attractive alternative home screen application for Android OS. I've installed it in both the LG Revolution and this old Nexus here, but we're going to stick with the Nexus for this review because the LG icons, they, they just annoy me. They, they just, if you've used launcher type applications before, then you'll be able to use this one out of the box. No question, or rather that Android market market shopping bag kind of thing. It's wonderful, it's so cute. I, I wish I had one in real life. I'd carry it around all day, just tra-la-la with my Android market bag showing off like, hey, look what I got. Not applications, groceries, a banana and an apple. What? Exactly. For those who haven't tampered with this stuff before, no worries because it's really, really simple. It just enhances how you launch applications via the home screen widgets or the application screen. And that's it. But of course, there are a few things that make Go Launcher X unique and special. Instead of leaning towards a sense UI kind of feel, it goes to the iOS end of the mobile operating user interface spectrum. I can't explain it. Maybe it's just how the widgets look, or maybe it's because the icons wiggle and dance when you hold them too long. It just has a very apple vibe to it. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, I think it was really cleverly designed. It's like iOS, Android combined together to become one, you know? Spice Girl song right there. Like Launcher Pro, you can have multiple dock icons, multiple home screens, customizable skinnable widgets where you can tweak both their size and behavior, wacky transition effects, advanced advanced operating screen and theme settings, and a whole bunch of other life changing holy cow I can't believe this isn't real magic tweaks and settings. Something I really like about Go Launcher are the three tabs at the top of the application drawer displaying all of your applications, your recently opened applications and activities, and all of that wonderful miscellaneous stuff that's running in the background. I like that. Plus, it's really fast. Earlier, I mentioned that this application was really lightweight, and oh man, is it lightweight, baby. Even on this modern day grandpa phone like this Nexus One here, it runs super smoothly. Even after downloading and loading a bunch of Go launcher widgets, it still runs great. And speaking of great, I'm gonna give a shout out to our sponsors at Thrillist. You know how you have that one friend, that, that one cool hip friend who knows everything about everything and hooks you up with the latest music and bands before anyone has he even heard of them? Well, Thrillist is just like that, but for cool new stuff to do and places to go. You want to know about a Star Wars burlesque show? A beer garden that screens 80s flicks? Or a new restaurant with a sushi robot? Then sign up for Thrillist, a free daily email to sift through the crap to find the best new bars, restaurants, events, and services. Whatever it is, they promise that it won't suck. Hit up Thrillist.com slash Buffalo, that's Thrillist.com slash B-U-F-F-A-L-O, and you'll start getting Thrillist's sweet, sweet knowledge right away. This of course is a personal thing, but the only, only downside I can I can see of Go Launcher X would be that I'm not a big fan of the, the default clocks they include. In my opinion, they're just kind of they're just ugly, you know? They, they pug fugly, pug fugly, ugly, ugly Betty. Ugly. What can I say HCC has spoiled me with their oh so beautiful sense UI clock. No worries though my friends, with Go Launcher X you can load up any widget you want. So all you gotta do is go down to your local Android marketplace and pick up something called LP Sense Clock for a few bucks and BAM! Sense Clock with Go Launcher X. With that like Launcher Pro, I give Go Launcher X a solid 5 out of 5. But unlike Launcher Pro, Go Launcher X is completely free. No featured limiting light 7 day demo version nonsense here. Completely free and awesome. So for you Android users out there, just go to your local marketplaces and pick up Go Launcher X. I mean it's free, it's wonderful, it's fantastic. 
Bam! And uh, if you have any applications that you would like me to check out, feel free to leave a comment below. And yes, I am aware that my screen turned off, but that's okay. That's okay. And yeah, I'll pick something from the comments and I'll review it for the next episode of What's the Apps. Thank you very much for tuning in. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo. And um, I'm going to get that fixed. Laters.